think January 13th. January 13th. I am recording live from my messy office, parents. And I want to start off by saying Happy New Year to everybody. Um, I want to first of all thank everyone who gave me a Christmas gift. Um, I got Christmas ornaments. I got hoodies. I got eye masks. I got coffee mugs. I got everything. And I just want you to know, anytime someone decides to purchase something as a gift for me, I am eternally grateful, externally grateful. Um, teaching, I know it's hard work, but I know parenting is even harder work. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart for letting me into your homes, for trust and trusting me with your students. I really, really appreciate it. So let's get down to business. Okay, everybody, you know, progress reports went out on Friday. I sent progress reports on Friday, which was January 11th. So hopefully you received yours. If your child was absent, you will get yours um, tomorrow morning or whenever your child returns to school. I have them all printed out. Um, I ready. Now, I'm not going to say I'm competitive. But I'm going to say, I know my students can do better. iReady is a mechanism, um, is, a, is, a, is an app, uh, uh, information-based um, app that helps our students improve in the areas of reading and math. So with that being said, I had great gains from my, my students, great gains. I had students who started in the beginning on kindergarten level and brought their scores all the way up to the fourth grade level. I've had um, students just make great gains, but I've had students who didn't make gains and who I know could make gains, um, who I know can read, can do math, who I know um, can do the work. But just to be honest and frank, they're late. They'll blame it on you. They'll blame it on me. Um, and unless anybody is doing a part-time job to help with the household bills, my assumption is students have nothing to do but to improve on their education and to do homework when they get home. So with that being said, let's talk about the homework. Um, every week, whether I send a reminder or not, the assumption is at night for homework, students are supposed to do 45 minutes of I ready online nightly. And whether I send a worksheet, a flip grid, a flip chart, a Sega Genesis or whatever, if I don't send anything home, and you don't hear anything from me on Remind, the assumption is they are to spend 45 minutes of reading on iReady on task, okay? Thank you so much, parents, for helping me with that. Um, class Dojo, been a real eye. I have been real last with Class Dojo, so you will see improvement because I am going to start giving out Class Dojo points for reading, for already reading, and for also doing my own. Now, um, next, what else do I have to talk about? Flipgrid. A lot of the students have been doing Flipgrid. They're ecstatic about Flipgrid. Just so parents know, the Flipgrid is the code is the same code series of numbers and alphabet after dot com in the backslash. So I will make it more of an effort to put that in Remind and to also put the code in Class Dojo. Um, students, I am requiring that students do Flipgrid for their Mayan reports, and that will also be as a grade. I'm going to try to have them do um, their Mayan reports twice a week 
maybe one do on Tuesday and the other one do on Thursday. Um, also, students were introduced to class OneNote. Um, excuse that. That's my dog. That's not really my dog. That's David's dog, my son. Um, class OneNote is a big uh, digital binder. Students know how to get access into it because I showed them how. If um, you need any help or assistance, hit me on remind at the side. Um, but we're going to start using class uh, OneNote a lot when it comes to writing activities, and they will be graded as well. Uh, that concludes my parents' weekly report. Um, if you guys have any questions, oh yes, if you need to know how to get on iReady from your computer or from your laptop, please hit me up on Remind and let me know. And I will send you a video showing you step by step how to do it, okay? So that concludes my report. You guys have a happy Sunday. And there is a follow-up flip grid to go on with Mayon um, that I will be posting. Um, I know the students have been eager trying to figure out what I was going to do with the social studies assignment. We are going to be hitting social studies very, very hard up until uh, January 31st. So you can expect social studies homework from me every night. Um, I'm going to uh, social studies quiz. I'm going to do, it's going to be virtual, but they're going to do it in class tomorrow. Um, also, I am going to uh, release the spelling words. That will also be noted on Spelling City, and you guys can start on that today. Um, hmm. I think that's all. I think that concludes my report. Um, like I said, I will be sending out the flip grid a little bit later on. And uh, probably within minutes after I record, send you this video. So you guys have a happy Sunday. Let me know if it's anything that I can do, anything that you're curious about via email, uh, Remind, Class Dojo. I'm here, eager and ready to serve. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.